What's up, YouTube? My name is Steve Whelan, and here's four ways how to get a more powerful forehand in tennis. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. In today's video, we're going to look at Emma Raducanu. Emma is widely regarded as one of the best female tennis players in the world, obviously the 2021 US Open female winner. But what makes her forehand so great? First and foremost, something really simple. She's always ready. If we, if we watch the video clip playing now, just look how focused she is. His eyes are down the court. She's great and athletic. Nice wide base. Feet are nice and wide. Knees are bent. And she's engaged. She, she's literally ready to play here. And it's a big common mistake a lot of players make, especially younger children. They're just not ready. They're easily distracted. They're not really athletic. Their feet might be too narrow. But she's ready to play. She looks like an athlete. She looks like a pro tennis player. And it all starts with just being ready. So when your coach is telling you to get in your ready position, this is why. The second and third things are quite closely synced. She reads the ball really well. And you can tell this because just look how early she gets ready to hit, actually hit the forehand. Her hips and shoulders are turning way before the ball gets to her. And she's ready for that ball before the ball bounces. So she's got great reaction skills. So you can see this as soon as she turns her hips and shoulders, she's preparing everything. She's getting herself behind the ball. She's reading the flight path. If the ball goes deep, she's pushing back. If the ball goes a bit shorter, she's moving forwards. And this is great reactions. Again, most tennis players react really late. They let the ball bounce before they start to move. If you look at Emma here, she's moving way before the ball gets to her. And you can tell because she's striking the ball out in front. And this is what we call beating the bounce. And this is tip number four, probably the most important tip is you've got to be set. You've got to be balanced. Most players, like I just mentioned, wait for the ball to bounce. And then they end up chasing the ball and they either run too close to the ball or they're too far away from it. Whereas if you look at Emma here, she's getting ready so early. She's ready for that ball. Once it comes in, she's balanced, she's set. And then she can start thinking about the power and she generates the power here with hip and shoulder rotation, leg drive. But she can only do all that if she does the first four steps. If she's not ready, if she doesn't read the ball, if she doesn't react, if she's not balanced and set, the advanced technique goes out the window. So if you really want to add more power to your forehand, don't think about grips, don't think about stances. Just focus on the basics. Are you ready? Can you read and react quickly enough? Can you beat the bounce? And can you move and get in position before the ball bounces and play with balance? If you can, you're going to have a much more powerful forehand. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, but also equally, if you don't, if you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a dislike as well. Please leave any questions or comments uh, below. I'm more than happy to get back to you. And if you would like another forehand video, I'll put one on the screen now of how to train the forehand with an inside-out forehand drill. Until next time, I'll see you soon.